Hello everyone, this is going to be our next episode on the high power motor test bench design that we've been working on. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to create the body structure of the test bench, including the base panel, the wheels, the aluminum bars, and everything that is involving in the whole body composition of the test bench. And we're going to have discussion about how you can optimally design those parts. And then later on, we will go to the electronic. Please stay tuned, follow our channel. Thank you so much. So as we already discussed, in this video we will study how we design the body composition. As a basement we use this T-slot plate, which is widespread among uh, CNC machine producers and milling machinists. So we ordered the T-slot plate in size of 60 by 40 centimeters. Crucial advantages of this choice for us is that the panel is uh, solid and has a massive weight. So for us it is considerable to have the lowest possible center of gravity for the entire machine. For this panel we also appreciate a high level of accuracy. These T-shaped slots simplifies mounting of elements a lot and also the possibility to customize the panel to drill some holes and ask for threads to be able to mount the aluminum beams and leveling elements with the wheels on the bottom side of this plate. So we have a delivery from Mizumi and uh, some elements here I will present to you to better understand what I mentioned in the in the 3D model. So this is heavy duty wheel, which is like a rotational part, the bearings inside, so we use four of them. Because we assume the total weight of the test bench around 200 kilos. The leveling elements. The thread type is M12, the length is 100 millimeters. Actually, it should have the, the rubber plate here, so we will fix it. So maybe exchange the, the stands or buy additional pad here. The aluminum bars that we use this is the the main stands, the vertical ones profile. We have like 60 by 30 and a special gap here for M6 nuts. The connection should be like that. For connection we use this type of inner bracket because actually the overall connection will be also with we'll using some banded parts in between of them positive thing of this construction is that we can use all entire space here to put some covers to mount the inner layer for electronics we can adjust the height if we need it but the structural composition designed to be symmetric to use uh, the same design panels and the dimension are equal for the upper and lower layers About the banded panels, it is important to say that they are widely used when it is important to customize the mounting holes for electronics, including the DIN rails, cable trains, lights, switches, connection terminals, power supplies, and other elements of electronics and elements for the control panel to be able to control the device properly while operation. Another important feature of using the dependent panels is that they are made of steel and uh, so that they help to increase the overall stiffness of the construction. More about the electronics, system logic and electrical components we will talk to you in the next video.
with the covers we decided to proceed with the transparent acrylic plastic since it is easier to produce, cheaper and also we need a visual access to all inner components. In addition we need the ventilation and cooling for the machine cabinet where the motor and the powder brake are installed. We also need a ventilation for electrical cabinet where one powerful DC supply is installed and also we have the current controller for powder brake. Since we need an easy access to the electrical cabinet, we decided to design one panel as a door. This is also a huge advantage of using the aluminum beams since they are standard and you can easily find the standard hinges and the magnets, some mounting elements to design this panel as a door. It is also decided to be made of acrylic transparent plastic with the handle as a design feature. The top cover panel is not such a necessary part in our test bench since we are going to use it every day. Yet we need to design it to be able to transport the test bench and also store it for some reasons. This panel is designed with inner handles as a simple part assumed to be made of the same transparent acrylic plastic. In addition, we added handles on each column of the test bench to manage the transportation easier and with uh, more comfort and safety. In the next episode, we are going to discuss the control elements, electrical diagram, the logic and the control scheme of the entire test bench. Stay tuned and follow our channel to watch more about this project.